Hey guys, just Greg here. So today I actually wanted to talk about the limited videos or the not advertiser friendly situation that we have, aka the apocalypse. So this video is actually aimed to other creators like myself, bigger or smaller. So if you're not interested in this subject, you can click on the just Greg uh, name and you can check my other videos that are not related to, you know, creators. <laughs> so let me start from the beginning. So a couple of days ago, I got hits. Nearly 70% of my videos got this nice yellow uh, marker saying your video is limited aka not advertiser friendly so my first reaction as with a lot of you guys probably is oh my god my channel is dead now i won't get any money we're dead it's it's over it's over guys it's over but is it really the answer is surprisingly no actually it's not even that bad we have all seen the YouTubers like Mr. Repsion and others talk about 90% of their videos being hit and, and acting like it's the end of the world and I can understand their precision because YouTube is really not that great at actually communicating. So what I did was I actually contacted YouTube Partner Support and they gave me a uh, copy paste message. <laughs> Then I contacted them again, and this time I got Eric from the YouTube Partner Support, who actually, surprisingly, answered all of my questions. So here you can see the message from Eric, and you can pause it if you want, you can reread everything, uh, but I'm gonna explain everything, what it basically says. So the first question I did ask is, will limited ads, or not advertiser-friendly videos, uh, impact the searchability or the recommendation system. As you know, if your video is not monetized, your videos will have a lower ranking in search and have a lower possibility of being shown on the sidebar, aka the recommendation. Search and recommendation, as most of us know, are the most important things uh, for a channel. That's actually how a channel grows. Luckily, the answer is no and yes. So let me explain this situation, right? There are three ways your videos could be seen as not advertiser friendly, ranging from logical to what? what? So the first reason is obvious. If you break the YouTube guidelines, if you make porn videos and stuff like that, your video will first get limited and then it will get deleted, obviously. The second way is if you talk about things that are not against the YouTube guidelines, but are sensitive. Like for example, politics or terrorism and stuff like that. That will actually get you unlimited. And of course, last but not least, and this one is the most ridiculous one. If enough advertisers don't target your tags, you're limited. So let me explain on this a little bit more because this is really confusing. So one of my videos that was limited, but isn't limited now, it's so it's confusing as fuck, is of course my doggy video. I made a video about dogs, nothing weird in a tax or description, but it got limited somehow. So I actually asked Eric, like, what the hell is this? What the basic answer is, is if there are, for example, 10 cat companies, right? There are 10 companies that sell cat food. As you all know, advertisers can tell Google, okay, you know what? These types of tags, I don't really want my ads to appear on. Maybe they don't want to have their cat ads on dog videos. Maybe they're like, you know what? Dog owners don't have cats, right? So they'll tell YouTube, you know what? Don't put my ads on the tags dog, dog, cute dog, awesome dog. And then of course, YouTube will be like, okay, that's fine. You're actually missing those types of ads and that actually makes you limited. But here's the thing, and this is what something that Eric said, I actually asked about like, is there, uh, is there revenue loss at limited videos? Yes and no. It really depends on your type of video. Like I said, if you have the situation that I had with, you know, a cat company not wanting to place ads on dog videos, then yes, um, you will lose maybe 1% of your normal income. However, if you're more into the danger zone, like stuff like you talk about sensitive topics, then yes, you will, you could lose between 50% and maybe even 70% of your normal income on those videos. So if you're a creator who talks about politics, then yeah, chances are 
that you are losing out money. But that's not really YouTube's fault. It's basically the advertiser's fault. They say, you know what, we don't want our ads to appear on those types of videos. And, and you can't really complain about it because it's their choice. Does it suck? Hell yes. Is the situation suck? Yes. Is the AI untested? Yes, they actually admit that their ad-friendly bot is untested and it doesn't really work properly. So here's the problem I have with this. Small creators like myself, we can click on the manual review button. However, you need a thousand views in the last seven days on that video, otherwise they won't do anything for you. And this really truly sucks because YouTube was about you, the creator. And now it's more like, eh, eh. just know if you see that yellow icon, it doesn't really have to necessarily mean uh, that you're going to lose income. It just means that some advertisers just don't want to associate with those tags. So what can you do as a creator to avoid this situation? The simple answer, nothing. Like literally nothing. Even if you went full PC, full uh, Teletubby mode, I'm pretty sure that the Teletubby videos, the ad friendly ones, they probably have the same problem as us because there are some advertisers that just don't choose to target that audience. And the last thing I wanted to talk about that was the last question I asked him was, will limited ads block channel growth? I think most smaller channels are more concerned about this. And the simple and good answer is no, it does not. If you talk about politics and things that are very sensitive, then yes, it could potentially block some growth. However, the majority are gamers, vloggers, songwriters, I don't know. You won't really have any problem with this. This was something they implemented a long time ago. They just decided to show it. Personally, if I would give a tip to YouTube or Google, uh, on how to make this a bit better, I'd say make a purple icon, for example, to show that not all advertisers are targeting your tags, therefore you might lose some or miss some revenue. I think that would actually make a lot of us less nervous. I we really wish that YouTube would talk to the creators more, and I think them emailing me back, actually talking, I think that's actually a good thing. I think that is... Amazing because it means that smaller creators are being heard and it makes me feel like this adpocalypse might be dying down and things might not be as bad uh, as, as we assume. If anything changes, I will update the description. So this means if you're watching this video and it's been five or six days after this has been posted, make sure to check out the description to see if anything has changed or not. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this adpocalypse. What do you think about this entire mess of like everything is not advertiser friendly? Like should they, should they actually make a purple one or a red one to indicate a little bit more what what's going on with your videos or do you think yeah this is fine this, this is fine let me know in the comment section down below so anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash the like button feel free to share and subscribe it's great exciting out real love it, guys said so i'll see you next time